we've moved from the master bath and now we're into the master bedroom and you know and maybe again bride's home and so forth with the coloring of Megan's hair the flowers the color of the pillows behind her and so forth I'm just going to kind of come in and try to do what I call a three-quarter length portrait three-quarter length is from the knees on up as we saw a little bit earlier on all kinds of ways I can do the illumination uh, you know, I can do window light, but I'm not going to bother with that because we've got all the drapes pulled down here in the bedroom. I don't want to open those up. Plus, I think we've got nice warmth throughout the whole scene with the, light, the lights on and so forth. So I want to really kind of stay and capture that whole warm, that warm feeling. I've got Aaron, and I was thinking, okay, I could use the shoot-through umbrella and illuminate uh, Megan or Bride. But I think, you know what? With that cone of light that I keep talking about, I can actually probably even make that cone of light even bigger. So, Megan, I want you to push that light away from the wall even more, even more, almost as far away as uh, the lamp right there. Okay? And what that's going to do, I hope it's not going to, let's just see what happens. Oh, that's looking pretty nice. It's just giving me a nice wide cone of light, which is going to really illuminate that whole area on the wall. And that being said, then I have a broad light source coming in here illuminating my bride. And the, the larger the light source, that means the, larger, the further I can get that light away from the wall, the larger my light source is going to be that's reflecting off of the wall. The tonality of the wall, as you can see, the tonality of the wall behind me, you know, kind of that warm tone. I'm not going to worry about that too much. It's looking great in a viewfinder. I can still adjust it easily in Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever I'm using. What I do love is I love the textures of the pillows behind her, too. I think it's given us just a wonderful background. Also, I have LaDon with our Z-Ray, which is our Brinkman flashlight. That's just going to light up the veil a little bit. LaDon, you can come in even three feet closer. I'm not even shooting at the right about there, okay? So let's go ahead without, just with, without the flashlight, just a quick photograph of Megan right here. Great. That looks cool. Light up the veil now. And now with the veil lit up, I'm at a 20th of a second, which is lighting up the veil nicely. Light up the front part, or right side of the veil. Yeah. That way the light is now leading into her face, which I think is just a little bit prettier too. Coming in really close. Beautiful. Rotating around a bit, just kind of looking down maybe. Just rotating around, just kind of playing around with all those pillars behind her, seeing what we can get. And the lighting in each one of these is just perfect because we haven't changed anything. All I've done is just really change the framing on the scene. Our background light is just lighting up the veil beautifully here. And just for reference, let's have the flashlight turned off, and let me get a couple of those close-ups without the backlighting, and at least we'll have a comparison. So just a few more, same way. Right there, good. One big smile. And I think we got a really nice series of images of our bride right here in the bedroom area.